Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and OnlineFirstAid.com. And I wanted to let you know about a new recovery position or a new option for the recovery position that's been developed by Professor Keith Porter and makes it easier for people who are helping someone when they suspect they might or could possibly have a spinal injury and um, you're a solo person um, or trying to help. So if you are on your own and you suspect that somebody could have a spinal injury, but you still need to roll them into the recovery position because you're worried about their airway, this might well be um, a great solution for you. We will attach a video showing it in detail um, below and I'll also attach a link to our blog which um, explains far more about it. But in essence, what you are doing is you're using their hand and you're sliding their hand under their head. You're minimizing any movement um, as you very carefully lift their head to slide the hand underneath. And then when you roll them, you're rolling them onto um, their arm, which actually keeps their head far more engaged. It's um, a much easier way, I think. I'd love to know your, um, your feeling about it as well. So you start by crossing the le their oh, far leg towards you, much easier to see in, the, in a proper video where we're demonstrating, and then you are rolling them onto their arm. So you're sliding their head, which actually puts their head into a more neutral position anyway, just lifting it slightly off the floor. And then you're avoiding that twist and protecting them um, as they go over. So personally, I think it's a much easier and simpler version um, than, than you trying to roll them into the recovery position um, the old way. Um, it also is a little bit easier um, to, to support their, their head um, generally. And it means that you, know, you don't need a whole row of people. Now, obviously, if you have got the, the luxury of having a whole row of people who are trained to do a proper formal spinal recovery position, then that will be more stable and a better way of rolling them. But if you haven't, please have a look and let me know what you think. Um, yeah, thank you, Keith Porter. Um, so please put your comments below and if you think it's useful, share it with other people um, and um, uh, they might benefit from it too. That's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and OnlineFirstAid.com.